Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your wrapping up 2024, uh, looking at kind of the next two months um, to see how this is going to wrap itself up. Um, and then of course, taking that little sneak peek of 2025, kind of getting a little bit of a theme, uh, not wanting to, di to dig deep, excuse me, um, on that because I will do the overall reading uh, in the end of December or the beginning of January for you. So let's get in here and see what's going on with you, my friends. Some best messages coming out. Best messages, please. Using this new deck that I have, we have celebration coming out. Kick off the party activities and have a great time. Plan for a joyful future. So it's like, hey, you know what? We're going to wrap this up. We're going to kick things into action. We're going to have some joy. You're going to have some celebration. Um, yeah, it's going to feel like everything is moving. Okay, let's see what's coming out under that is power. So having that celebration, just knowing that, you know what, I'm moving where I want to move, doing what I need to do. Um, you're having the power to take back your life, your control. So you want to focus on your needs right now. Um, really knowing that this is where I really, truly need to be. So, you know, and that's going to just bring in that three of cups, bringing in that happiness, that celebration, feeling a lot of joy, right, as you feel like, you know what, I'm in control. I'm in control of this situation, and this is where it keeps me feeling stable, looking. Um, have an eye for beauty and uncover hidden charms. Seek and you will find. This is pretty much the knocking on the door and knowing that that door will open, knowing that you hold the keys to unlock that door within yourself. Right, as I take action and I'm looking for what it is I want, I know I will find it. Right, as long as I just keep focused on the journey, focused on the work, focused on what makes me truly happy. So really ending this year with that happiness, that celebration, knowing that, you know what, I, I got this. Just really knowing it. Not just believing it, but knowing it. Right. So you have mind power. Use your intellect analyze the situations and think rationally about what you can do because you're really going to lead with your mind. Wow. And just really knowing that's what it is, right? That this is where I'm going to, this is where I'm going to change things around. I'm going to end this year with the power. There's a lot of power there. The power is mostly what I have and what I hold within myself to make this huge turnaround. I like that. So, love it. Let's see what's going on. Let's use this deck. In 2025, the overall card. Just kind of the theme that's going on here. Positive movement forward. So, you're, you're going to take all that power with you into 2025 because now you've you know, it's kind of like I've focused and I've put everything here so that way I can continue down the same road. I can continue to put all my strength, all my power here to move in this positive direction. It's like I found it. I found what it is I look, I'm looking for and power again. So you're going to take that power that you learned in 2024 and really exert it over into 2025 for the happy celebration. Like you're going backwards. You're cycling. Do you see how you're cycling? You start, you're going to end with the happy celebration of the three of cups and, your, and the power to keep moving. And here you go again. So you're going to just keep recycling that energy to keep that with you. This is going to keep the peace and the harmony within yourself and everybody around you. Trying to really, you know, step up your game. Giving you a lot of good choices. A lot of choices where you're going to feel like there's a lot of truth. There's a lot of justification this year. So 2025 is going to be about your harmony, your peace, and your truth with a lot of power. Because if we don't have the power within ourselves to stay courageous during certain situations, we're always going to be down and out. So this is where you're saying, ah, I got this. I've got this this year, right? Because last year, I, I kind of maybe allowed um, maybe the wrong kind of power or... Uh, maybe it wasn't strong enough and I, you know, I made it strong and then it, it weakened me down or however the situations are. Everybody's story is a little different, but this power is the power to understand I'm leading with 
this understanding and very focused on the goal. Not focused over here, over there, or maybe here, or maybe it's over there. No, I need it here. Planting it. Planting it straight in the middle. Okay, so get one overall card for that, please, using the new deck. What is it? Fertility. It's time to think about family, life, and children. Don't sacrifice family for career. So it's also telling you make sure, right, that you're also paying close attention to your family. Um, don't let your career and your habits also um, deteriorate what you're doing on your family side. Make sure you're staying very balanced, okay, because you, whatever you're finding is the perfect fit in 2025 for you, okay? It's the perfect fit for your family, for your lifestyle, for who you are and what you need, okay? Pretty much the fertility in some ways just kind of reminds me of don't become too career focused to where you kind of become a workhorse and uh, forget about the the ones that are sitting around you, right? Sometimes we overwork, overthink, and then we're like, oh, geez, I'm sorry, I was supposed to take you to the park. Shit, I forgot, right? So we want to make sure that we're balanced. So it's just making sure that you understand don't over-sacrifice yourself to where you're putting out the ones that truly care about you. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you, of course. Take that how it resonates, you know? You know you're not going to do that, then I wouldn't worry about it. Some of you are like, ooh, yeah, sometimes that happens. And I get carried away, right? Forgot to forget to pick up that phone and call mom, right? Um, 2024, your angel number is 0404. Slow down. Balance. See, like I said, it's all about that balance. You want to make sure that you're balanced, right? Because of what power struggle. So pretty much what it is, it's, you know, it's it's all about balance. Because even though you're in this power place and you're using a lot of power, not only in 2024, but 2025, you want to make sure that you're keeping that balance to where you're not end up in a struggle. Um, but this one is for 2024 as you're gaining all this strength, all this power within yourself. It says pay close attention to the people in your life. That's so crazy. It just says that. I think this card is really for 2024 and 2025. Because it's resonating and it's cycling so much. Because we just talked about that. So I'm going to say this is for both. Hmm. Communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries. Yeah, I feel like this is for both. Because it's literally talking about both areas I just talked about. So for 2024, 20, 2025, 20, you're going to have 0404. 0, 4, so you'll probably be seeing that probably till about the beginning of the year. It, you might stop seeing it and then start seeing it again. And another one for 2024, please. <laughs> How about one just for 2024? 999, lessons learned. Take stock of the accomplishments and how you arrive to them. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive toward your goals. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it and your reward goes and the reward goes to you. So there is your message. Because that is literally saying you're coming out of that area. Now it's time to take the power back, clarify what needs to be done, compromise with what what needs to be compromised with, right? And if you need any reflection or refinement, now is the time to do so as you're knocking on that door in 2024. And then one for 2025 only. Since you gave us one for both. They were actually reflecting on each other. So this right here is really just a reflection of this is what you gained from 2024, which is going to push itself over. That's so cool. Cycles, 1919 for 2025, what did I just say? Okay, that's it, I'm, I'm done. I don't need tarot cards. <laughs> or I don't need these messages. I need the tarot cards, I don't need these messages is what I need. <laughs> uh, I just literally said that. 
It's almost like the zero waste. Okay, if you see 19, 19, it's because you're cycling through, okay? That's that's all it is. I, that was it. I'm not even reading it because I already said it. It would be like a waste of my time. All it's saying is you have the karmic payout because you learn the lessons. Slow down. You've learned the lessons. Don't redo the lesson. Don't have to redo the lessons again. You're cycling through all of this for your future. There you go, and you're making some new experiences. That was it. <laughs> End of the reading. I mean, literally... It was like, okay, so why do I have these if I just said it? Okay, so anyways, it's so funny. This is, this, I don't know, guys, readings crack me up. It just, sometimes they just make me laugh because it's just like, it's like, okay, you just said that. Okay, anyways, I'm out. Peace and love. Bye-bye.